2012. All right, so let's talk about Kevin Warren. Coach Wanstead is here. You do stuff for the Big Ten. You've been a college coach. You've been a pro coach. What do you think Kevin Warren, if it gets done, would bring to the Bears? Well, experience, I mean, would be the first thing, Cap. You know, you know he was at Minnesota, obviously, for 15 years with the Vikings as the chief operating officer when they built the new stadium. So I don't know if you need to say anything more than that, really. You know, so he's got experience uh, in, in the front office on how the NFL operates as a whole. He's got experience with an NFL club and particularly with an NFL club that's trying to put together and build a new stadium. So I think, you know, there's, he checks every box that the Bears would be looking for. Yeah, he does. And having negotiated all these big TV deals, things he could do locally, and it gets him out of having coaches call oh. him and all the stuff that they have to deal with. Yeah, he's, you know, he's dealing with what, 14 teams in the Big Ten and presidents and ADs and mentioned coaches. I mean, uh, you know, he's, he, every day there's somebody else has a different problem. We're here, you know, now you're under one roof. You've got one major project. Uh, you've been there before. You've got experience doing this. Uh, I, I think it could be a, a great fit, to be quite honest with you. And you're getting in on the ground floor with the Bears of they may have the number one pick, certainly top two or three, yep. new stadium, just oh, everything. Oh, the arrow's pointing up in all areas. There's okay. no question. About okay, it. let's talk about the Bears because Justin's going to play. You said you would play him. I would not play him. You cannot screw around and win one of these last two games. <laughs> well, I think they're going to win this week. What? I'm picking them to win this week in Detroit. No Co shot, Coach. Coach, the, Detroit, the best thing that they have on their defense is the, it's ranked like 28. Everything else is 30, 31, 32. They're the worst defense in the National Football League right now. I think the Bears' offense is going to go up there and put points on the board. And, and then on the other side... The reason Detroit is winning is their offense. You know, Jared Goff is having a Pro Bowl year. Let's give the guy credit. He's doing a phenomenal job, and they're running the football. Uh, but the one thing the Bears are doing, they're not committing crazy penalties, and they haven't been really turning the football over excessively. So this game is going to be close, and I think it's going to come down to turnovers. We've won the last, what, two, three games, turnover margin, and we still lose the games? I think this week we win the turnover battle and we win the game. Coach, so there, you're really going to be upset. I know, but there, there is zero chance they're winning the game. I think there'll be a lot of points. I agree with you. Yep. But I don't see – I'll be shocked if the Bears win the game. Yeah, well, we'll see. But I just think it from I, – I think – I mean, last week, last week Detroit got – you. I mean, f 500 and some yards with Sam Darnold and company – put up against them. Mm -hmm. uh, they ran, they, let's see, Carolina ran for 250-some yards last Correct. week against this team. I mean, there's no reason the Bears Coach, can't do the same thing. Coach, who's covering Amon Ross uh, St. Brown? Who do you want to cover him? Well, we don't have anybody that can cover him. Well, we'll, we'll find him. We got the pass rush if we blitz. What pass rush? Okay, okay. Coach. I'm, I'm being optimistic. Come on, we're coming into the new year. If I was <laughs> the GM there. Right. The quarterback would be, here's two tickets, go down to Cancun. Enjoy yourself. I would, Matt, I hired you as my head coach. Do not win one of these last two games. Yeah. I want either pick one or two. Well, if Justin Fields is playing, which he is, and here in his press conferences, he doesn't do anything where he's not trying to win. So just keep that in mind at the end of this game when everybody says, what happened? To me, it's real simple. You put your best player on offense, on the field, and he won the game for you. Justin, don't you dare find a way to win a game. I know enough about you. I need, like, three or four picks. <laughs> coach, I love you. This is my last interview with Coach. Give me some, He's man. my Give friend. Me some. But this is our last show together. I just know I love you. You're the greatest. Yeah, well, I appreciate you uh, really making this easy for me. We have a lot of fun. Absolutely. All right, we have another surprise guest.